Hi everyone, welcome back to Ghost Speaking. I'm Phil and tonight we are at the Guinness Brewery here in Baltimore and we're going to have a double feature of Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2 and we're going to be hanging out with the Charm City Ghostbusters so come join me on the call. And it's a gorgeous evening. It's two days from Halloween and everyone's in a festive mood and it's a nice crisp 62 degrees. And right away we are greeted by the Charm City Ghostbusters. So let's uh, take a closer look at the recto. This is a beautiful acto. Here's the Charm City Ghostbuster logo, equipped with the Maryland State flag and the Natty Bow symbols. Natty Bow is a local beer that is near and dear to everyone's heart in the state of Maryland. Man, this is a really cool act though. Super awesome job. Just love the roof rack here. This is a really cool Ecto. I can't take my eyes off of it. It's really, really cool in how they designed it. Look at that. That's super awesome. Yeah, tell me about your Ecto. It's a 62 Cadillac Miller Meteor. Um, when I got it, it came out of Iowa. Uh, it was a uh, indecent but rusted out condition hearse. So we uh, had the windows cut into it. Um, had a donor 61 Miller Meteor that gave us a couple parts and trim pieces. But uh, it's been about a seven year process to turn it into a Ghostbusters 1 style Ecto 1. Well, it's a beautiful conversion. Thank you. And uh, congrats about the, uh, the event. Tell me about it. So yeah, uh, I think it was 2020, um, Guinness started, or we started coming to movie nights here. Um, and the last two years they've had us back, so it's a recurring event. We're excited they're showing Ghostbusters 1 and 2 this evening. Um, but yeah. And this is a great stay pop. Is this yours? It, this is also mine. Uh, <laughs> so this is the first night out for both Stay Puffed and the Ecto-1. Uh, they've had some test runs nearby, but uh, it's the first time getting them set up in public. Well, thank you for putting this together. This yeah. is amazing. Thank you. And uh, what, what charitable uh, donations do you uh, uh So this with? morning, uh, we just did a walk with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Uh, they're out of the Darkness Walk. Um, we've been walking for them for five years since one of our members, um, unfortunately, is no longer with us. Uh, so uh, we are still taking con uh, donations to that cause. Our, our uh, member groups are also open. Their website's AFSP.org, uh, or on uh, Facebook, you can just track us down, and we've shared our group page as well as our individual member donation pages. Thank you again for talking with us, and yeah, this is going to be a great event. Thank awesome. you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, they got photo opportunities here for people in front of the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming out. Kids and family are out. It's a beautiful evening. Two days before Halloween. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Nowhere else we'd rather be. So, uh, how long you guys been with the uh, Charm City Ghostbusters? Uh, I've been. Let's see. I've been with them for six years. Okay. Um, I was the first recruit once it was started, so I'm officially the uh, eternal rookie. Okay. Cool. I can't remember. I think it's been six, seven, maybe right, eight. Yeah, right before that. Seven, yeah, seven, just eight. before you. So yeah, yeah get Excellent. around there. There was uh, there was multiple groups here in the Baltimore area. They all kind of merged together, created Charm City Ghostbusters, yeah. and even through COVID and everything, we've been out, we've been around doing whatever we could. Well, you got plenty of vectors to <laughs> carry you guys around. Uh, unfortunately, they're newer additions, but we had, we're so excited to have them. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. Well, awesome. thank you again yeah. for putting this together. This is really, really awesome. Happy to do it. 
I got a trap. Yeah, they got a uh, really cool. 2016 version of the Ecto here. But, uh, it's really cool. <laughs> Oh man, check out this Slimer. Oh yeah, he's hungry. Always hungry. Instead of hot dogs, we got hamburgers. Oh man, that's an awesome trap. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's supposed to be clean, but as you can see, stuff is going on there. <laughs> yeah, we just grabbed one. We gotta wait to take it back to headquarters and uh, put it in the containment unit. Awesome. It's a modified like spirit trap. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's it's not it's not uh, you know 100% film accurate, but uh, I weathered it up and put a smoke machine in it, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. That's beautiful. All right, guys. What kind of merch do we have here? This is a new shirt, full color. Ready to believe you, hon. <laughs> That's kind of our catchphrase, you know, keeping it Baltimore. Uh, we have our old uh, CCGB. If you uh, ever remember, there's a bar called uh, CBGB. We have some rock and roll uh, members in our group, so they uh, they threw back to that. We have car decals. We have stickers. We have magnets. We have enamel pins, keychains. We probably have more stuff. I don't think we know where it is. <laughs> Do you guys have like a, an official website that we can go to? CharmCityGB.com is our website. You can find us on Facebook, Charm City Ghostbusters. We're on Twitter as well. We're on Instagram. Um, you can follow us there and see where we're going next. And then I just ordered the ion arm in aluminum because I dropped that this morning. And it's shattered now. Oh! oh. oh. All right, man. Don't oh, cross the street, buddy. Can you tell me about your pack? I'll tell you what about it. <laughs> It's like, did, very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> did you make it or? Um, my husband made it. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, how do I make it smoke? Uh, front front right All right. Awesome. Really it's, cool. It's marshmallow scented because you know <laughs> you gotta go the extra. Step. I know. <laughs> Yeah, if you're ever in the Baltimore area, definitely check out this brewery. It's really awesome. It's massive. There's a really nice restaurant here too. So just highly recommend if you're ever in the area. And they do cool events like this. This is a major disgrace. Forget MIT or Stanford now. They wouldn't touch us with a 10-meter You're always so concerned about your this is definitely a good turnout and everyone's having a great time like all families are here oh you're with these guys right Oh, we thank you. Oh, thank you. I was just handed this, and it was apparently done by one of the artists here at the brewery. That is awesome. I love this. Yeah, if you're ever in the Baltimore area, definitely check out this brewery out. It has really awesome places to hang out and just chill out and, you know, watch a movie. You guys, don't cross the street. Or if you you'll never slime a guy with a Pontotron flyer, huh? So now that we're knee deep into the movie, let's uh, grab some food and possibly a beer. All right guys, I'm going with a non-alcoholic drink since I'm driving. It's basically their version of an ecto cooler. It's a citrus syrup with Sprite and you can't go wrong.
Don't tell me how to do mine. Yeah, you can't go wrong. And, you know, it's not exactly active cooler, but I'll roll with it. And I got myself a popcorn and enjoying the movie. I didn't know Ducks Unlimited was Canadian. I don't think it is. I'm just saying, wow, there are Ducks in Canada. There's coffee in Canada, too. <laughs> it sounds like the kind of thing that Dan Eck would just be like, I'm going to say Ducks Unlimited. Come here, bro. You think he just quoted that? You think he just came up with that himself? I think so. Ten bucks, that's you. All right. Yeah, that whole like sequence was probably him. I was. It was like, Jason yeah. Ryan was probably like, this okay. Is I want you to do this. This, this, I want to echo it, but come up with something new. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what, come on. That's a little It's not going to get You're not going to get sued. You're not going to get sued. You're not going to rile any feathers. Ah! Uh, I can't. Can somebody... <laughs> under the ion arm, is it... Oh, you got the switch? Not Chris, the actual afterlife no, switch, it, but well, no, this was made prior to afterlife. Signed by Danny. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and you got uh, Egon's meter right here. Oh, absolutely. Where'd you find that? Uh, Etsy, actually. Oh wow. Yeah. Did somebody make it? No, it's an actual. Oh, it's the it's actual an one. actual meter. Yeah. I just you know bought it. So it if it if Spengler used it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. You're not going for a Gaga meter anytime soon? Well, no, because I'm going first movie only. Ah, uh, okay. That's, That's actually right. smart, just to stick with so one, one movie. movie. yeah. <laughs> well, so listen, you don't blow your budget. No, 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 no. I stick with one movie and Spangler. If Spangler touched it, used it, whatever, I'm in. I like, I like your like, philosophy. I, I wanted to be in. That was like my idol. Growing up, I wanted to be Egon Spangler. So. Why? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Probably because he was the smart one. Oh, see, I like always. And he had to be, all the answers. He too. had all the answers. I always wanted to be kind Ray. Of, he was kind of awkward. See, I always wanted to be Ray because I loved how eager Ray was about everything. Like everything was awesome to Ray. That's the reason why I like. Yeah. Ray too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Bankman was too much. Of, was a little too sarcastic for me. Like I loved Bankman. <laughs> no, you know but what? You know what I didn't like about Bankman is everybody liked Bankman. Yeah, that's everybody true. Everybody wanted to be Bill Murray. Yeah. I'm like, no. Forget that. <laughs> I want to be going the, Harold Ramis. I want to be the smart guy, star of uh, the oh, guy who didn't even want to, guy who didn't even want to be in the movie. A star, true. star of Baby Boom. Ba <laughs> star of Orange County. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I think that was the only thing about Afterlife that I didn't like is that they didn't make him a little like because he got a little chubbier in his old age. Well, yeah, but they, he was. But that was the Egon more. character in the in Oh, okay, my, all right, not, not your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Less recognizable. True. Yeah, that, that's the way I see it, is that right. it wasn't Harold Ramis, it was the It Egon. was the Egon, yeah. right. Makes sense. <laughs> all right, that's going to wrap it up for me. Uh, as much as I would love to watch the second movie, it's super cold out right now. But uh, thank you to the Charm City Ghostbusters for allowing me to hang out with them. It was super fun. And to the Guinness Brewing Company for putting this together. And, you know, it's really awesome to see, like, the families come here and see, like, the younger generation embrace this movie as much as I did when I was their age. You know, you see this movie a million times, but when you actually see it with families, it's just really, really awesome to see and how this movie is just like a cross-generational movie and it's a magical thing. If you like what you saw, hit that like and subscribe. It helps us out and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out people and keep on busting.